Hello, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. This is just a quick update on the current state of GarageBand after Apple royally botched the release of the latest update, version 10.3. Apple have just released another update, version 10.3.1, which appears to have fixed the major issue thousands of users were having with GarageBand in that it wouldn't open third-party audio unit plugins. And yet, yeah, this update certainly seems to have solved the problem, though I did get a pop-up the first time I launched GarageBand after updating to version 10.3.1 that said, Use of the requested audio units require lowering the security settings for GarageBand. Are you sure you want to proceed? I selected lower security settings and GarageBand 10.3.1 opened with no problems at all and I was able to access all of the plugins that were not available previously. Now what's interesting here is that Apple support have been adamant that the issue users were having was down to the plugin companies themselves not updating their plugins. Yet within a week, Apple have now released an update that fixes the problem completely without these developers having to actually do anything in the end. So something definitely doesn't add up there, but hey, at least the issue is fixed now and we can all get back to creating awesome projects in GarageBand as well as taking full advantage of all the new features added in the latest version. I've been Patrick from the garagebandguide.com and I'm off to finally play with the new Mellotron sounds. Bye for now. <laughs>